Hello everyone, it's Benedict Simply Be Art in Cape Town. This is my uh, uh, painting from the last video, you can go and check it out. I want to do this technique on a wooden tray. So, uh, first going to be your first time for me, I don't know how it's going to turn out, I haven't practiced it. But what I've done is I've taken my wooden tray and I have uh, used some gesso on it first just to prep the wood. So I'm using a grey gesso that I painted with a regular paintbrush. Just paint at the bottom and it's all dry. And then I used a white acrylic paint straight out of the container and I prepped my my sides, my insides and my outsides and it's got two coats of white. I'm going to do the final coat after I've done the painting on the base. So I'm going to do a Don Gregor inspired floral bouquet again right in the center of the tray and the tool that I will use to blow out those Petals is aquarium. This is silicone aquarium tubing. It's quite long so that I don't get my head in the way and you are able to see how I blow out those petals. I've mixed up a base color which is white. My ratio for the base color is uh, 40 grams of paint, 80 grams of pouring medium and I only added 20 grams of extra water to bring it to a nice fluid consistency. I'm going to be using colors in the um, pinks and purple uh, range. So I've got a pink, I've got a cobalt violet and I've got a magenta. I've, I'm also going to add some gold into the mix. I may use some yellow. I've got an Aztec yellow or deep yellow. Not sure yet if I want to use the yellow, I will decide later. And for my outline for my base, I'm going to be using a phthalo blue and a lime green. So that's going to create the outline for me. I want to just go with a square today. I'm still being a little careful. I'm going to be adding the white base color now. I'm going to go just in the center and then I'm going to stretch it out. You don't want a lot of paint. So working on a tray, uh, this is a, <laughs> I'm not going to say it's a risk. Um, I don't see it as a risk. It's just something that I wanted to, to test. And um, so you don't need a lot of paint. I'm going to stretch that out and see how far I can get with the base. Um, I'm not going to be able to. To pour off any paint so I'm being very careful with how much paint I'm pouring onto my base. If I pour too much paint then I'm going to have the white um, overtake all my colors. It's going to it's going to cloud over my colors and I think that is just perfect. That's just perfect. So I've got my base um, covered. All right, I think I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to do my outline. I'm going to start with the with the green. I don't know if this is going to work guys uh, this is the first time I'm trying it so you're right there with me this is the phthalo blue so I have my outline <laughs> I'm going to lay down the cobalt violet first
All right. I'm using the tubing now to blow out those petals. I'm just taking a stick this is a craft stick and I'm drawing some pulling in some of that white and then I'm dipping my finger to lift off the excess paint so I'm using a craft stick just to pull in some of that white and then I'm using my finger to lift off the excess paint that will pull in the center. All right, let's proceed with the next color. My next color is going to be magenta. I'm going to do the pink at this point. So I'm dipping my finger and I am lifting off some of the excess paint but I'm also creating some new definition um, of the petals. I So far I'm happy with, <laughs> with what I'm seeing. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. I think I want to add a little bit of the yellow just a tiny tiny bit of yellow here and there so let's see where we can go with the yellow I'm going to do yellow right here and one there um, one over here and one here right and um, let's do let's do one here and I think I'll do one here as well Get my 
plastic. I'm going to pull the the shape of the flower with the with the stick and then I'm going to dip my finger in just to give some uh, indication of a the center of the flower and to lift up that excess paint. All right, let's have a look at it. Does it need anything else? I don't think so. I don't think it needs anything else. And the paint is just beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. <laughs> wow, I'm loving that. Loving that. All right. I am super happy with this. With this tray. I hope that it dries well. I'm going to let it sit for a while before I move it. And then I'll show it to you when it's dry. Let me bring you down for your close-up. 